guys, today I'm going to be talking about why modern is so expensive. Uh, modern is still expensive and the what happens here is a very interesting that it is very interesting and I'll talk a little bit more about it throughout the week. It is what I feel I feel very sad that this happens time and time again. Some cards because they're being reprinted go down in price. So people who have larger collections um, inflate the cards of like Ink Moth Nexus or Huntmaster. Like, I, you know, I'll be the first one to say, but I never like purchased these cards thinking, oh cool, I'll make money from them. I just purchased them because I like symmetry, I guess. Um, yeah, I purchased these for like two bucks each. Like all these Huntmasters. Now they are apparently like 16 bucks. Crazy, right? And then of course the Olivia's. Love my Princess Olivia, the first princess on this channel. Oh, I should probably should do a deck tech sometime soon, because um, I have a new deck. When I look at it, I say to myself, these cards are seeing friends, playability, like Olivia is a 1-2 of maybe main deck, and sideboarded. Huntmaster is even worse, and it's actually, last time I checked, Olivia was 15, Huntmaster was 16. And... It's like, wow, these cards don't see any play at all, and people are only spiking this price because it's mythic, and it's not going to be reprinted. Like, Olivia cannot be reprinted. I was not going to be reprinted in very hard when Modern Masters 2015, people knew that. And it's very hard for me to kind of grasp her price point right now. I know she's good. She's like a $10, and she's, in my opinion, always been $10 good. But now she's like over $10, and that's a little scary. Uh, Huntmaster, in my opinion, sucks. I, I hated it. I've played the decks that it used to be, like the Delver decks. Uh, that's I played Blue, White, Delver, and Geist. And Huntmaster was really annoying with its wolf tokens and its lifelink and just very, very difficult to deal with. And when rotation happened, I don't even know how I got 9 Huntmasters, but I mean 9 Huntmasters later, right? So Modern is very, still very expensive because what happens is some cards get cheaper and then some people, because they are not happy with the current, you know, they're not happy with cheaper modern formats, they increase the price of other cards that are not reprinted, like Ink Moth. Like, when you look at Ink Moth, it goes up to like 8 to 24 overnight. I mean, you gotta be kidding me, right? In fact, didn't it get better. I mean, it, it got cheaper in many aspects. Well, I, get, I don't even know if it got cheaper, to be honest with you. Uh, it's just very surprising uh, that the overall like when you have a mass reprint set like modern master 2015 and the cards don't get cheaper right i mean uh, not the cards don't get cheaper the decks don't get cheaper and that's very meant to me like i don't i see the problem being that modern master 2015 was not reprinted in walmart uh, if you have it in walmart and you have it in target you don't worry about price uh, you don't worry about quantity, and the price will drop like a rock. But when you have, a, again, a vendor offering $130 for every Tamagoyf, then the bottom line at the GP Vegas cannot be below $130. Otherwise, people are doing something kind of silly where they're selling their Tamagoyfs for less money than they could get at buy list. Anyway, overall, very... Um, Frightening, uh, I guess is the term I would use. I expected modern to be cheaper. Maybe you can make the argument it got cheaper a little bit or certain decks got cheaper, but as a general you know, format, for every card that went down, you have one that goes up. Um, Olivia, Huntmaster, Ink Moth, uh, I'm probably missing a lot, Penhaven, uh, just a ton of these cards uh, in the, uh, the, uh, Fetz, the Ravine. The mainlands, the fastlands, I don't know, it's uh, in my opinion not great, this happens every single time. Bye guys!